Alright right, guys, it's Ryan from RK Zyber Clutch Help, and I'm going to show you how to make your own videos as your uh, wallpaper. Okay, so a video wallpaper of your own choice that you have created yourself. Um, if you watch my previous video on how to get YouTube videos back there, uh, this just kind of leads along with it, but it's a different concept, okay? So, let me take you to my computer here. Alright, the first thing you want to do, guys, is whatever video you have chosen, or any video you have made that you want, um, it can be, it can be pretty much any type you want. It can be anything that you have simply stored in a Windows mo uh, Media Player, uh, you've made with Windows Movie Maker, or anything on the Mac, I'm not familiar with them, but it can be anything like that, just any type of video. Alright, and then what you're going to do, is you're going to get the, uh, video converter from my right over there, in the description. Uh, it's called Total Video Converter. Alright. And let me, let me just uh, open this up here. All right, you're gonna download it, and it should save in a folder. Just going on. The only ones you really need is the main uh, file right there, Total Video Converter, and maybe Total Video Player, which comes with it. Okay, so click on Total Video Converter once you have it downloaded. All right, wherever you saved it. Okay, and uh, always click. I want to try it more because it's a free trial that never runs out. Okay. And uh, here we go. It should look like this. Zoom out. All right. You should have the same screen. I want you to click New New Task in the bottom left. Import Media Files. Okay. And then go to your desktop and locate what you have done or what your video name is. Okay. You can see it's right here. Hold on. Wrong thing. Oops. Okay, so then hit open. Sorry. Okay, and uh, it should bring you to this screen then. Okay, guys. Um, there are all the possibilities to convert to. What I want you guys to convert it to is right there. M O V Mav with that little quick time player. Okay, click it. Okay, it'll say um, your original movie file, and it'll say what you want to convert it to, and you want to click Convert Now, right there, after you've selected that. Okay, once again, I want to try it more. Okay, and it should start converting, okay? So let that do its thing. Okay, and it's going to take you to a uh, page that says converted or a folder rather is this is everything that comes out of the total video converter okay guys simply go ahead and drag it from that to your desktop okay oops okay and uh, save it to your desktop. Now you can just close out of the video converter. You will not need that. Sorry, I'm taking a little bit here. Okay. You can delete the converted file. I mean, converted folder. Just exit out. Back out. Sorry. Okay. And what you're going to do now is you should have that movie file you've just converted. It should just be called uh, whatever you, it was originally, but the icon has changed, if you have noticed. Okay. And uh, you want to open up your SSH program now. If you do not know how to SSH, go ahead and feel free to watch the video on it that we have posted in previous videos okay and uh... we get to your SSA screen you want to click on the little arrow up there okay and go to VAR VAR okay then go down to mobile zoom in and then follow it up with media okay and then click on screw uh, I forgot to mention, guys, um, there's another download in the description. That, well, it's not in the description, but it's, uh, I'll have the name. You need to download this off of Cydia. It's called Screw Common. Okay, along with the file video wallpaper. Okay, I think I mentioned that earlier, or maybe not, I don't know. But I'll look in the description to get the exact names. So just go into Cydia, like I said, and get those. Okay, so enter Screw. Then click Videos. Okay, and then you're going to want to simply locate that video you've just uh, converted into a .mov on the left panel. Okay, when you locate it, it should be on your desktop as I told you to save it there. 
go ahead and drag it from there to this side. Click copy. It should take a couple seconds here. See how it goes. Alright, uh, go ahead and click refresh. Tap right corner. Okay. Now we're going to go to my iPad here. You're going to want to locate the V wallpaper. Okay, click on it. Look like this. Okay, and then click on select video. Sorry, you can't see it here. And you should notice that the file name, or your movie name, should be in here, guys. Uh, mine was named Intro 2. I'm going to go ahead and select that. So just click on it. It's going to give you, a, if you want, yes, I want, or no thanks, click yes, I want. Alright, and then it'll take you back to this screen. Click Enable Video On. Alright, guys. Click Home. And back out. And your video should be there. Okay, scroll to an open page you can see. See our minds of video constantly running. This is a custom slideshow that I made. You can probably find it in one of my intros to my videos. Alright, but anyways, um, the only downside you guys might have is that uh, using the total video converter, it leaves a little mark in the top left corner that says total video converter. But your icon is pretty much black at the top anyways, guys, so it's really not noticeable. You see a tiny bit of lettering over the icons, so you really don't even notice it, okay? And uh, it plays over and over, just like a regular video walker would, except it's your own, okay? Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and uh, come back to us for more videos. Thanks.